Good morning. It's uh, January 27th. I want to put together a video on the uh, on the system that's being set up to go to the Quest retreats in the Southland to Georgia and Mississippi. And I'm going to start here at the board. Uh, this is a Behringer X32 compact, which means it's got uh, capability, but it's only got it's a compact. So I'm going to start with the routing. And I want you to see that the routing, these are the, uh, on the routing tab. And you can see that uh, inputs one through eight are remote. They're going through the snake. And inputs one through eight are actually down on the stage box, which is an S32. You can see that uh, inputs nine through 16 are local, which means that they're on the back of the board. Now I'm gonna go through that and explain what I'm doing because I wanted to get, because to have the in-ears work with the P16s, I needed to get everything on the first 16 channels and to get them in order, so whatever. So anyway, on uh, channel one, which I'll flip it here, on channel one is the cajon, on channel two is the acoustic guitar, channel three is the keyboard, Channel four is the bass guitar. Channel five is number one handheld microphone. And channel number six is number two handheld microphone. Channel seven is the uh, microphone that'll be put up there. It's a wired mic, it'll be for the pastor. And it's on channel seven. And it's wired into the stage box because that's how this is set up. And channel eight is head-worn mic number one. Now there's two handheld mics and there'll be uh, three head-worn mics, uh, two for skits and one for the speaker. So there'll be three head-worn mics, head-worn one, head-worn two, head-worn three. Now head-worn number one is on channel eight, which is uh, right here, and head-worn number, head-worn number, Head worn number two is on channel 10, and head worn number three is on channel 11. And uh, the way that's set up is that the wireless rack with those wireless microphone receivers is set up right here. We're using five of them, two for handhelds, three for head worn, and they're wired into the back of the board, which I will go around here and show that I've wired these microphones in because we're doing local is channels 9 through 16. Now you can see that I've got these plugged in uh, from the rack, from this rack, and they're listed head worn number one is in channel nine, head worn number two is in channel 10. Uh, the third, which would be uh, head worn number three is in channel 11, and then handheld number one is in channel 12, and head worn number, excuse me, handheld number two is in channel 13. Now, that may be a little bit confusing, but what I've done to get them all on the, uh, on the first, layer, channels one through eight, is that I've transferred, if you go into the home, to the home menu, which is home button, and then you come down here, and you go over to config, to configure, then I can bring up channel number one, and I can choose to source that channel from another place. So what I've done is even though it's plugged in locally in nine through 16, they're actually transferred up here to channel on the handheld on channel five and channel six and channel eight are all plugged in to other inputs, but they're transferred into these. So I will 
explain that a little bit more later. And I've also, because the head-worn mics, the three head-worn mics that might be used all three at the same time, may be a little bit confusing and a little, and a little bit difficult trying to get to number one over here on channel eight, the other two on, on channels 10 and 11. I have assigned each of these head-worn mics to its own DCA channel. So DCA number one is head-worn number one, DCA number two is head-worn number two, and DCA number three is head-worn number three. So no matter where you are, in which layer you could be in the the upper layer or the second layer and these head warns if you turn the mics up and then you can have control right here on the dca faders rather than have to go back and forth between the layers and that'll make sense if you work with it a little bit you'll see what i'm talking about now i'm uh, going to go down to the uh to the stage box, and the stage box is uh, set up. Like I said, we have uh, we have routed channels one through eight through this box. So this is the cajon, the guitar, the keys, the bass, and this is the uh, pastor's mic here. So let me go that again. This is cajon, uh, guitar, uh, key to keyboard bass guitar and then number number seven is the stage mic here the pastor's mic which will be put on the stage and then uh, the two outputs come out of channel seven and eight because this is a compact board the outputs by default are seven and eight coming out of this box going through these cables up to the speakers and then of course the in-ears, everything is set direct out. So all you have to do is to have the fader up where it's actually getting signal in the system and that will go into the in-ear system. Uh, I'll probably make another video uh, later on the head-worn system, but this will help you get started. Thank you.